Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Craig O'Neill and on this Black Friday, one of the must have items is already bringing out the scam artists. One Little Rock woman is sharing her experience tonight in hopes that others seeking the very popular PlayStation 5 won't lose hundreds of dollars. THV 11's Jordan Howington has the cautionary tale. Super frustrating. Hannah Henson is out $500 and nothing to show for it. She thought she was getting the highly sought after PlayStation 5 on Facebook's Saline County yard sale page from a man claiming to have pre-ordered one in September. I was aware that they didn't come out and officially get released until November. Since the man Henson made a purchase from has not been charged with the crime yet, we are masking his identity. She paid him several weekly installments of $75. Once he received all the money, he started ignoring her messages for days until she asked for a refund. He said money back. And I said, yes, I'd like my money back for the PS5 I never received. The man then claimed his pre-order was canceled and had to order the PlayStation from another store that cost more money. He asked Henson for another payment to make up the difference. She sent it and days later never heard back. She threatened legal action. She asked for her money back once again, and then the man blocked her on social media. She has no PlayStation and out hundreds of dollars. I've never been scammed before, so I didn't really know better, but I I see that now after the fact that the event has happened. Henson posted her experience online. Several others have stepped up and said they have also been scammed by the same man. She's just hoping by sharing her story that others will be more cautious when getting a deal from a stranger. Be more cautious, be more aware. Um, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. All right, Jordan, thank you. And according to the Little Rock FBI, Arkansans were scammed out of $22 million in online fraud last year. The FBI says the best advice is if you're not sure if a text, email, or social media message is legitimate, it's best to just delete it.